Hey everybody, well, on my way to BFL here in Ohio, the Buckeye Division, it's at Indian Lake, so it's kind of a haul for me, it's like like right at three hours away, so that's what we're doing here now, I figure I'll pick up the camera and talk, give you a little story on what happened down at the James River exactly, and I didn't get like any footage during the tournament, so what happened there, and how we're, where we are right now, so basically when we were down there going through practice whatever just another just nothing nothing going wrong just finding some fish and found some really good fish really and like the day and a half before the tournament i was pulling the boat out of the water with mike and i look back we come over a bunch of roots at the ramp and the back my motor on the back of the boat was like wobbling this way and it's kind of hard to like explain but the motor mount brackets where the like motor mounts onto the motor mount if that makes any sense bolts sheared off in there basically one came out over time or whatever but the one was in there and it was sheared off I'll show some pictures real quick of this and my guy Joe at FC Marine got me fixed this past weekend my boat was done I picked it up so finally able to go back and do some fishing finally since I got my boat back but that happened down there and then at the James River I Nolan Miner shout out to him he was nice enough to let me borrow his boat so he brought it down he, he's pretty much a local there he's really close so shout out to him for him for bringing his boat let me use it so i ran around in his boat for the tournament i didn't practice the rest of the, the the next day and a half or whatever and then well actually i practiced one day with mike and then the last day was we took off we just sat around and got rods raked and i switched all my stuff over to nolan's boat so that's what happened there and then day one started and since the winds were so bad the first day of the tournament. Everybody that made the run to the chick said it was it was pretty gnarly and pretty bad. So with those winds predicted, I didn't even think about running. I stayed close with Nolan's bow and grinded out 14 pounds, which was pretty good. I just didn't know if I could do that again close to the ramp day two. So I guess I should have stayed looking back I should have stayed close to the ramp and maximized my time but I made a little bit of a run down on the mouth of the chick and bounced around on some of my stuff I did at the beginning of practice that was pretty good and I think those fish just changed they pulled up and they were more spawning than pre-spawn and I just not being down there and three whatever days it was without practice I think they moved a little bit on me and I, the tide wasn't timed right which was part of it probably. And that's another reason I should have stayed close. But it was pretty cool. Day two, I ended up coming back through and we stopped in a little creek and loaded the boat. Like it, the, we timed it perfect. It was so cool. That's the crazy thing about tide. You can go all day. We didn't have any bites. I had like two fish and then we pulled into a creek and you could just tell. We pulled in there, we started in at the mouth water wasn't quite moving yet and then we get back a little bit farther and all of a sudden you could see like the debris and little leaves and twigs on top of the water just start getting sucked out and that's the biggest thing on tide and anytime you're seeing that water move in or out that's the feeding window for those fish there so that was cool we go in there and it was like every flip on every piece of wood it was so cool i loaded the boat my co even loaded the boat he had zero fish when we went in that one creek and we, he called like twice I think well, they weren't big calls or weren't big fish but we knew there were some big fish there we just didn't get any of those bigger bites it was all just cookie cutter pound and a half fish or whatever but I ended up day two with like 11 something almost 12 pounds like 12 pounds I think and I had 26 pounds on two days and that, that was not good enough I mean I ended up in the 80s somewhere I think low 80s but without having my boat and scrounging up what I did I think I did pretty good just 
stuff you can't control so that's typical and I'm pretty much used to it by now because if something's gonna go wrong it's bound to go wrong at the, at the wrong time so but hopefully that catches you guys up I can't thank all my sponsors enough big bass dreams all over we had a heck of a house I wish I, could, I should have filmed more when I was down there but my week just just started off just bad and I kept my head straight and I just like didn't focus on the camera I just try to clear my mind for that week because I just wanted to be po as positive as I could and just didn't focus on the fishing and not have to worry about other stuff but I think I did a pretty good job of that with my circumstances I think I fished pretty well but can't thank all my sponsors Fisherman Central FC Marine they got my boat fixed so we're back and we're heading to the BFL right now in Indian so that should be fun Blue Rock I, I was throwing his stick bait down there and I was flipping his tube a lot too so that tube has really really helped me out and really put some fish in the boat for me so if you guys would like I'll, I'll pop my code up on the screen right here and use that and you get 10% off or whatever it is but and also new threads they do an awesome job on jersey and if you're looking for any sun shirts or shorts or any of that custom apparel they're the people to go through i mean sarah's awesome and she really helps me out a lot so i can't can't help but thank her so in wake him wake him he's he helps me out a lot he's in with fisherman central so all those people over there fisherman central are my guys and they're really awesome and help me out a lot so be sure to stop in there and tell them i sent you that would help help them out too so i think that's it so we're heading to indian now so this will be another video i'm gonna shut this video off but thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this i'm sorry this video wasn't as big as i thought it'd be i thought i'd have like two days of filming but nolan's boat his uh car charging port on his boat didn't charge my gopro the day one and i didn't try and fix it for day two so too much going on and i just didn't pick up the camera but next one at oneida my boat's good so we'll be good to go oneida's in early july and i can't wait for that one i know last year i had some pretty good footage didn't put it any together but some of my stuff's pretty specific and i'm kind of secretive when it comes to that so i don't like showing video of all that good stuff because it i just feel like it it burns you i fish too much local stuff and it burns you locally so filming all your stuff at these lakes we keep going back to for the opens kind of sucks but hopefully the schedule changes and yeah so i'll see you for the next open video early july because we'll be going to oneida so that, i'm really excited really excited for that one until then i'm gonna try and hop in these bfls their format's a little different but we're gonna give it a try i have a bunch of buddies fishing them so i was like I'm not doing anything this weekend so we're driving here so thanks for watching guys Hope you enjoyed this little video I ha I'm gonna throw in some video from practice in this in this video now so you can stay after and watch that I'll start it right now thanks for watching
What's up, bro? What's going on? I'll tell you what. Yeah, boys. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I think I've caught. This is my system too. Nah, too. This one's pretty big. No, Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. He's going back, he's huge. Cool. Cool. Gotcha. Buzzbait fish. Woo.